Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary, today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Every time we review a game based on a cartoon, there's like 20 people in the comments telling us to review Battle for Bikini Bottom. Like every single time. We even take bets on how many people are going to say it. And for a long time, I didn't understand why. Now that I've played it, I understand why. I've also lost a lot of money. Heat up the holographic meatloaf. It's Battle for Bikini Bottom. It's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. And we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. I think there are a couple reasons people seem to hold this game in such high regard. And the biggest one to me is that a lot of those people identify this game with their childhood. Like, I'm sure a lot of you are like, Oh, that game, that was my childhood. Which is just bizarre to me, because I'm finally on the other side of the old guy fence. You know, I'm old, and that sucks. But it also means I can look at this game without the hazy fog of nostalgia clouding my judgment. And that's the thing, that's the second reason people like this one so much. Even without the nostalgia, even on its own merits, this is still a pretty solid game about a pretty porous sponge. Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Whoa! So you play as Spongebob, you can also play as Patrick and Sandy, and basically, look, it's it basically a standard 3D platformer in the tradition of Super Mario 64. There are lots of different places, each with lots of objectives, and you do those things by platforming and collecting things. Generally, if it shines, you should collect it, and if it moves, you should kill it. Lessons you should also apply to life, by the way. So the design's kind of predictable, but it's predictability well done, you know? Like there's actually some fun platforming in this game. And since the game plays well too, it's a, it's a lot more fun than most licensed games, even if it's not doing anything that great conceptually. <gasps> you know, I think one of the game's strengths is its pacing. Like you can just run through the levels and along the way, you'll be able to finish most of the objectives. Like, without very much time or exploration, the game doesn't drag as much as licensed 3D games sometimes can. You know, there are golden spatulas all over the place, so it moves pretty quickly, which is good. You know, that way you don't get bored. You're not spending an hour on the same objective. And especially for a game for kids, that's definitely the right approach to take. The game really does play well, too, and that's something that really hurts a lot of platformers. Like, if your controls and mechanics aren't solid, Stuff like this can be a nightmare, but this one gets it. And again, it's standard stuff, like butt stomp, double jump, spin attack, but it's all done well. You never struggle with bad controls, which was a pleasant surprise. You know, and it sounds so obvious too, but that's the most important thing in a platformer. Everything else is secondary to the controls, to how the game plays, and Battle for Bikini Bottom plays just fine. Ultimate wedgie experience! <laughs> it shines! And the presentation's not bad either. I mean, it, it's a little PS2-tastic. You know, 2003 textures, things like that. But for its time, and for its platform, it's not bad. And actually, the main character models are really well done. And there's some good animations too. But of course, the big thing is that they got most of the cast to do the voices, which includes Tom Kenny as Spongebob. Although, you know, I, I would like to hear someone else try Spongebob. Like, someone totally different too. Like, like Morgan Freeman as Spongebob. It's not like Tom Kenny needs to work anyway. I knew the King Jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? All right, so there it is. It's official. I've played Battle for Bikini Bottom. I've had the experience. And here's the thing. Look, I, I can't say it's the most amazing thing ever. And I still think half the reason people seem to love it is that they loved being a kid and they remember it from being a kid. But, you know, even with its bland design and its occasionally wonky camera, seriously, SpongeBob, get the hell out of the way! This is a quality licensed game. There, we reviewed it. It's a battle for Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob, look, you're making this very uncomfortable. <laughs>